Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about orchids, specifically repotting your orchid plants. Now, if you're one of the growing few that has successfully kept your orchid plant alive and thriving, you're eventually going to come across having to repot one of these guys. Conventional theory says that you should be repotting them, you know, once every year or so, and that's not a bad schedule to follow. Now, before we get started, um, one of my first rules is I don't repot orchids that are flowering. The flower in an orchid, it takes a lot of resources and a lot of energy for that plant to, to undergo the flowering process. So I'll simply leave them alone um, until those flowers are done. And so other than time elapsed, you'll know it's time to repot your orchid. You know, when you start seeing a lot of brown leaves and you start seeing a lot of these roots sort of crawling outside of the pots, a lot of these roots uh, dying off, you know, the, the orchid can't live in here forever. So let's take this guy out and repot it and I'll show you how I do it. So when repotting your orchid, you're always going to want to go up in size a pot, you know, about one or two inches. And so I don't have any more um, store-bought orchid pots. So I'm simply going to make my own out of this three-gallon nursery pot. Now you can use it as is, but you'll see most commercial orchid pots will have holes around them. Now that's to allow more air to get through into the soil and for some of those roots to crawl out. It really does help the plants, so I do suggest not using a completely closed pot. So I'm going to go ahead and make some half inch holes in this pot so that we can use it to repot our orchid. So when we made our hole, our first rule of woodworking is the entry side is always less clean than the exit side. So let's see if we can make the hole the other way. Same thing. All right. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll just go and clean that up with an X-Acto knife after. There we go. So once I go clean up these holes, I'll have my own orchid pot out of a regular nursery pot. Okay, let's see if I can clean up one of these holes. Oh. That worked nicely. Okay. Let me go and clean up the rest of these guys. Okay, there we go. So for this part, you're going to need a good pair of scissors because as we go along, we're going to want to cut off a lot of those dead roots. All right, you can see here, this brown stuff here actually isn't part of the orchid. This was a little fern that was growing. And so like orchids, you know, ferns don't last forever in the same soil. So it seemed to have perished as well. Yeah, there's a lot of dead roots on this guy. Okay, let's dump it out. There's the old orchid pot. We can use this for a smaller orchid later on. Okay. Now you can see the old mixture is really broken down. And that's fine, you know, that happens. It doesn't last forever. We want to get the majority of it off of here. It should just come off in a clump. Because usually those roots don't grab hold. And so we need to cut all of the dead roots. And you'll see the dead roots. I mean, this is a live root. You know, it's a um, little bit fuzzy to the touch. It's It's got some weight to it. You know, it's hard to squeeze. And then, you know, you go look at a dead root like this. 
and it's all squishy. And then even further, you know, this is a completely dead root, which is just, uh, it's just like paper. So very easy to determine what to cut off and what not to cut off. As this is the core rhizome of your orchid and oftentimes it'll go you know quite far this way just sort of keep snapping it back until it gets to living tissue preferably right before living tissue uh, because you don't want that rotting in the new pot okay we'll just set this guy aside Close this up. This can go in the compost. We'll bring over our potting mix. So the orchid potting mix is not like regular soil. You need a specialized mixture, you know, just for orchids and epiphytes. So I'll throw a link down below how I make my own mixture for a fraction of the price. Uh, but you can go buy your mixture, you know, at, at any garden center, you know, hardware store. They all carry it and uh, you can buy it year round. Okay, so we have our orchid pot. Now I'm just gonna do this by hand, but you may wanna use gloves. You can get slivers from the fur bark, especially that finely shredded stuff. So just be aware um, that most people do this with gloves. Now, when I'm putting the soil in, not the soil, when I'm putting the orchid mixture in, I want to make a dome inside the pot. Now I'll show you what that looks like when we get there and I'll tell you why I do it. So as you can see, I've left the depression all the way around the pot and it's raised up in the middle. Now the reason why this is, is you want to plunk your orchid down like so. And then you want those roots to crawl around the outside. So this orchid, you know, with its rhizome will sit on top. You don't want to bury this rhizome. You could really damage your plant that way, if not kill it. And so what I'll do now is I'll pot around that rhizome, you know, burying those roots and holding this plant in place. Okay, so I've got my orchid in place. Now I can go around and bury those roots without burying the plant. You know, some of these pieces are a little big. Um, you know, for your coarse mixture, you want it to be about that big. So you, they, easily, they break up easily though. Okay. Try not to bury that rhizome. You know, I probably put a little bit too much in there. I'll just uh, clear it away a little bit. It's not the end of the world. You know, this is quite a airy mixture, very coarse. So um, the plant should be okay. So the great thing is because we pre-soaked our potting mix, we actually don't have to water the orchid at this time. So that's it. That is this orchid uh, repotted. I'm gonna go ahead now and cut up those old flower stems and then we wait for this guy to flower again, which probably won't be far behind. Now you just cut those flower stems back to about, oh, I do it about half an inch from the crown. I just, I don't want to damage the crown by accident. So I always give myself a little, little wiggle room. There we go. And 
And now this plant is ready to flower again. So that's all there is to it. Not nearly as daunting as some people make it out to be, but you do have to follow a few rules. You know, you can't use regular soil with these guys. It's gotta be a specialized orchid or epiphyte potting mix. There's no way around it. You don't wanna pot these guys when they're flowering. You don't wanna stress them out more than they already are. And you're gonna to wanna to pre-soak the orchid potting mix. If you can do those three things, you'll have happy, beautiful flowering orchids for as long as you want. As always guys, leave any questions or comments down below. I'd love to hear about your orchid endeavors. I know a lot of you grow orchids and a lot of you are more experts at it than I am. So let's hear about it in the comments. Click subscribe if you haven't already. For those of you that have, I really do appreciate the support. And I'll see you next time.